Welcome back to Baron's New Vegas Gun Guide. And it does look like I lied in the last video and we have one more rifle to review before we are finished. Although calling this little pea shooter a rifle is generous. The BB gun is little more than a toy, even if some places nowadays elevate it to a position as same as a firearm. Firing 177 caliber pellets and balls called BBs using nothing but compressed air it is capable of poking an eye out or killing a squirrel sized animal. Against a human it lacks much in the way of penetration and damage, so a courier using it as their main weapon is a courier that wants a challenge. The BB gun is around the same age as some of the lever actions we have reviewed so far, dating back to 1886 when the Markham Air Rifle Company made the first wooden construction and spring piston air rifle. Now, the name BB probably comes from the pellets it uses, which are from birdshot, but that name existed before the air rifle as a way to reference the shot in that specific shell. This mostly wood BB gun was not very good, and was really only a youth training gun. In 1888, however, the Plymouth Air Rifle Company, that was in the same town and almost across the same street as Markham's, made the first all-metal air gun for BBs. This was the Daisy BB gun, which the company later renamed itself to match. The Daisy BB gun became a household name and remains that way even today. They eventually introduced a more accurate pellet to shoot, which was more powerful as well, given that it had a point on it. But they are all still known as BBs to most. The Daisy BB gun even saw use in the Vietnam War during training under a new plan called Quick Kill, which allowed soldiers to train their reflexes faster and cheaper than other methods. Now, in Fallout, the BB gun has been there since the beginning, and even before Fallout 1 first came out. The spiritual predecessor to Fallout, Wasteland, featured the Red Rider Daisy BB gun first. In the town of Highpool, the rangers fight a kid whose dog was gunned down by rangers, and there is a debug weapon under the same name that does the most damage of any available weapon. In Wasteland 2, the citizens still hold the rangers responsible for the kid and the dog's death, all because of a simple BB gun. In Fallout, however, there is less darkness surrounding the weapon, and it has appeared in every Fallout with the exception of Tactics 4 and 76. In all games, the base model BB gun made by Red Rider in all but Fallout 3 and New Vegas are terrible, and in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, the Raider of America BB gun is no better. However, there are the unique versions. The Red Rider and Limited Edition BB gun in 1 and 2 stands high above the others. Unlike every other gun, they do flat damage and it is as powerful as the average damage of the DKS-501 sniper rifle. This makes these limited edition air rifles very useful, although it does beg the question of how do they get this powerful. In Brotherhood of Steel, the very difficult to obtain BB gun is the opposite idea to flat damage. It is a huge range, and if you save all the townspeople in Carbon, you are given it by the Vault Dweller. It has infinite ammo and shoots air instead of a pellet based on its in-game description. The damage does go as a toss-up, because it goes from 1 to 101, but it is much better than a base one would be. Now finally in New Vegas, but not in 3, there's the Abilene Kid Limited Edition BB Gun, which makes its appearance as the special BB Gun with quite the potential. As silly as it sounds, BB Guns are a huge part of the guns of Fallout, even if no one ever uses the normal ones. Before we get to the more meaty weapon variants, we have to review the toy version. Doing only 4 damage, the BB gun is the weakest gun in the game. It does have a fine rate of fire for a lever gun at 1.5 shots per second, which is a simple DPS of 6, with a reload time of 3.3 seconds and an internal tube of 100 BBs, its sustained DPS is not any different. You will probably be long dead or change weapons before you have to reload, so you don't have to worry about that. Due to the fact that BB guns can't impart much or any spin on a projectile, like a traditional firearm, the BB gun has a high spread of 0.5, which isn't spectacular for long range shooting. 
It does have a V notch and post iron sight, which is nice and open to see any other wet bandits sneaking up on you, and overall it is decent for mid-range combat. In VATS, it's expensive, and it makes sense when you remember that it is a Levo gun. At 28 AP per shot, its efficiency is a predictably low 0.14, the lowest of any gun in the game. Unsurprisingly, it also has the a low crit multiplier at the standard 1 times for a paltry 4 more damage. Now a sneak attack critical headshot can deal upwards of 16 damage, which is laughable. However, due to the fact that it's an air rifle, it is always considered silent, which is a big shame considering it is not a holdout weapon to make use of it in the place that would be best. I would recommend almost any gun over this one. It barely does more damage than the non-lethal weapons in the game. Unlike the anti-material rifle, the BB gun is the cheapest gun in New Vegas. At only 36 caps for one in pristine condition, it's only 11 caps more than a stick of dynamite, and it's slightly more than half the price of a varmint rifle. As such, there's no concern for your pocket when you pick one of these up, and it also makes good fodder for the jury rig repair, as they can repair the almighty anti-material rifle with that perk. Now, given the time since these BB guns were made, the durability is not great, at only 245 shots per BB gun. Much like the Silence 22 pistol, these guns are pretty disposable at best and really don't need to be maintained or treated as irreplaceable. The ammo will eventually cost more than the gun anyway, even though they are usually found in large amounts, like 50 or 100. But they cost one per shot with no box option, which is ridiculous. This makes them more expensive than some 22 ammo and definitely most surplus ammo. They can't be crafted normally, but there are a few big mods that include a recipe that makes them out of scrap metal. There are no variants to the BB pellet in game, and I doubt there are many mods that add one. Now, one last point before we get to the juicy, unique variant. Despite using air, BB guns can still somehow ignite flammable gas leaks, so look out in certain areas of the game. But like I mentioned in the beginning, it is not the base model gun we are interested in. In a shack far away from New Vegas and on the edge of Boomer territory, there is a BB gun of legend. Some say it's one of only 200. In the abandoned field shack is the Abilene Kid limited edition BB gun, a work of art and as a gun proclaims, truly a rare find. Unlike the standard BB gun, it does a devastating 4 damage with each shot and fires at a blistering 1.5 times a second. This gives it an astounding DPS of 6. It shares the same internal magazine capacity and reload time, but that's okay, since it's a huge reservoir of damage anyway. Now, jokes aside, the Abilene Kid BB gun is exactly like the standard BB gun, except in value, durability, and crit performance. At full condition, it is valued at 500 caps and can shoot 495 BBs, double the standard amount. But the crit performance is where everything changes. With a 1.5 times crit multiplier, it is only slightly more than average, but does an additional 70 damage with each crit. Due to the multiplier being only slightly higher, it can't be relied upon without other investments, but remember that these air rifles are silent. Whereas the sneak attack headshot of a normal BB gun does upwards of 16 damage, the Abilene Kid Limited Edition BB gun deals upward of 296 damage on a sneak attack headshot, without perks. Getting better criticals makes this weapon perform similar to a sniper rifle, with sneak attack headshots dealing 436 damage, all from one tiny copper BB. Due to most of the damage coming from the critical, the Abilene Kid BB gun benefits more from the better criticals perk than almost any other base game rifle, except for the Gobi rifle, the brush gun, and the anti-material rifle. This makes it a formidable weapon in your arsenal, as it is silent and none of the other guns listed are, 
Now the sniper rifle can reach this height, but it costs a lot more to get there. As for requirements for both BB guns, it is the opposite of the AMR. There is no gun requirement, and the strength requirement is an always achievable 1. And with a weight of 2, only the modded sniper rifle can get close to that light. It's only slightly heavier than some pistols. Now, where to find the normal BB gun? First off, there's a lot of them. The blue Paradise Vacation Rentals have it in the middle sunken beach house. The Brewer's Beer Bootlegging has one in the basement. The Fisherman Pride, Bradley, and Field Shack each have one. And there are two in Nellis, in the schoolhouse and in the children's barracks, which makes sense with them starting the discipline of shooting very early. The Nipton Road Rest Stop and the town proper both have examples hidden away. And all over the wastes, toy boxes can spawn them. But why walk all that way when there are two in Good Springs? One right across from the saloon, and one in the saloon. As for those with the caps to flash, Mick and the Great Con Armor sell them as well. Now what can you say about the BB gun? It's a joke weapon through and through. Even the good BB guns are joke weapons, all in service of referencing a Christmas story and are more than capable of putting an eye out. Whether you realize the power in the unique version or not, the BB gun is a staple unable to be completely scrubbed from the series memory, even if they don't appear in 4 or 76. I guess Bethesda just doesn't like them that much.